we're talking about strongholds and things that keep us from knowing God, and we're doing a little sequence, just just short little vignettes, trying to re erase wrong presuppositions and adjust them to what we think are biblical. Now, that revealed truth, only revealed truth sets you free. And uh, what I want to talk this time is about rhema versus logos. Logos is the written scripture. I love, God knows how I love scripture. I love logos. And, but there is another word that nobody has seemed to really pay attention to, and that word is rhema, meaning a breath, a spoken word rather than a written word. Now God speaks to people. Now, I know many, many denominations and people do not believe that, but God still does it. <laughs> and and you, you have to hear me when I say rhema is when God speaks. Now here's, here's a question. Where did uh, Joshua get the Bible verse to march around uh, that city for seven times? He didn't. You know where he got that? He got that as a rhema. God spoke to Joshua. Now let me give you a few instances of how Rama is used in the New Testament. It will shock you. I'm telling you, it will shock you. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. That's not Logos. That's not written scripture. That's God speaking. When Mary says to the angel, be it unto me according to your word. It isn't a written word, it is a spoken word, meaning if Mary opens herself, she will be breathed into by the Holy Spirit and the Christ child will be born. Now, John 6, the words that I speak to you are spirit and life. That word, the word, it's not Logos, it's Rhema. You'd you be surprised. Just take your concordance and look up the word Rhema and start to understand God is waiting to speak to you. The foundation is in Logos, in the written word. Maturity means I am learning to hear him speak to me. <laughs>